And uh, welcome to my world. And a wild world it is because uh, tonight we have a male jazz singer from America. We have a girl singer from Yorkshire. And we have an Indian group from Bangalore. And uh, we also have a pop group from Liverpool. And uh, a classical guitarist. However, I must admit this is my scene right here. It's the big band scene and we'd like to... Uh, uh, start our show by doing our tribute to the uh, new wonder drug for all men. Here's El Dopa.
Now I'd like to have you meet a guy who shows up even later than the band. Say hello to John Hendricks. Hey, wonderful to see you, babe. By the way, you're not still drinking all that cheap wine and everything, are you? Cheap wine? Yeah. Maynard, you're giving away my past. <laughs> I mean, I used to be a wino, but now I'm a Bristol Cremo. <laughs> I never forget the morning I was on my stoop, asleep. About seven o'clock, cat came over, woke me up, told me my best friend was in Bellevue Hospital dying. Mm. So I stumbled up and I bummed 15 cents to ride the bus over there, and I thought about it a minute and got me some wine and walked. <laughs> so when I got to the reception desk, now, do not be misled by my suave appearance today. <laughs> In them days, I looked like eight miles of bombed Burma Road. <laughs> Ugly! <laughs> I was so ugly, a cat offered me a job sitting out in front of the doctor's office making people feel sick. So naturally, when I got to the reception desk, the receptionist looked at me askance. <laughs> I put my wino gaze on the Maynard. Yeah, hmm? I say, and drew myself up to my full height, and said to her in stentorian tones, I said, I don't game in you. <laughs> And she said, 304. <laughs> so I stumbled on the elevator, stumbled off at the third floor, couldn't find a room, so I smelled it. And I got there just in time. When I got there, my friend was dying. So I went over to the bedside, and I looked down at him. He looked up at me. He started crying. So I started crying. <laughs> I looked at him, and I said, man, I sure am sorry you're dying. And he said, you sorry? <laughs> so I asked him, I said, anything I can do for you? I'll do anything. Take your ashes out and sprinkle them on the lawn, anything. He said, yeah, this is something you can do for me. He said, will you come by my grave every night and pour a fifth of wine on it? I said, certainly. I hope you don't mind if it passed through my kidney first. <laughs> got tired of me running around, so she tried to keep me home. Well, she broke my nose, hit my clothes, but I continued to roam. Then she finally hit my weak spot, threatened to throw my bottle out. From the basement to the rooftop, everybody could hear me shout, Give me that wine, oh, give me that wine, yeah, give me that wine. Well, I can't cut loose without my juice. One day while crossing the avenue, a big car knocked me down and I was stretched out. Tying up traffic, crowds came from blocks around. The police were searching my pocket, but they sent me to the funeral parlor. But when one of them cops took my bottle, Maynard, I jumped straight up and commenced to holler. Give me that wine. Well, without Muscatel. One real dark and dreary night, while I was staggering home to bed, a bandit jumped from the shadows, put a blackjack side my head, took my watch, my ring, my money, and I didn't make a sound till he reached and got my bottle. Then you could hear me for blocks around. Give me that wine. Oh, give me that wine. Give me that wine Beat my head out of shape But leave my grave You can take all them Hollywood glamour girls Lana Turner, Rita Hayworth, Brigitte Bardot, Toby Wing Lucille Ball, Toby Wing Line them upside the wall Put a great big jug of wine beside them And tell me to take my choice be no doubt which one I chose. Minute I raise my voice, give me that wine. Give me that wine. Give me that wine. Give me that wine. Oh, them 
Texas is too cold and ain't got no soul. Now some folks like a lot of money, some like to dance and dine, but I'll be happy if you give me that, 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 give me that one. Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I heard. The song outside my window And the traffic wrote the words It came ringing up like Christmas bells And wrapping up like pies and burn. Oh, won't you stay We put on the day And we'll wear it till the night comes Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning And the first thing that I saw was the sun through yellow curtains and a rainbow on my wall red green and gold to welcome you and crystal beads to burn oh won't you stay we put on the day that the sun show every second now the curtain opens on a portrait of today and the streets are paved with passers by and pigeons fly, papers fly, waiting to blow away. It was a Chelsea morning and the first thing that I knew. There was milk and toast and honey and a bowl of corn flakes too. And a life was in like butterscotch and stuck to all my things. Oh, won't you stay? 
This is the music of India. It's a music and a culture that's very important to me. Listen to this fusion of Western and Eastern rhythms. It's a raga that we call Chalanata.
I just had a wild message oh. handed to me just now. And one of the guys' wives, man, has just had a wonderful baby boy, man. Oh, beautiful. Hey, that's that's marvelous. Hey, the proud father, what do you say, huh? <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> I told you it was a wild world. And uh, it's also a world of contrasts. And right now, meet John Williams.
Indian music tonight, but this is the music for meditation. In recent years, it was the Beatles and the Maharishi who brought meditation to the attention of the Western world. And to meditate is a unique experience, but I certainly couldn't explain it as beautifully as Swami G. Babiananda of the Rama Krishna mission. The words yoga and meditation are very much in use today in the West. The word yoga means communion with God, one's own higher self. Normally, we are aware of our physical and mental dimensions. 
and the state and the society are well geared to provide for a healthy development of both these aspects of man. But there is another fundamental dimension to man, the spiritual. Unless man appreciates it and tries to manifest it, his growth will remain lopsided. The reason for the deep-seated dissatisfaction and boredom in the world with all its material and mental pressures is the lack of proportionate development of spiritual nature. This can be developed by the technique of meditation. Human energy is spent in constant draining away through the pursuit of pleasures of the senses. And for meditation, the first step is to introduce self-control into sense life. Then at set times, we must try to sit quietly in an environment where disturbances do not reach us. The room where we sit should not contain articles which may distract our senses. Then, for a minute or two, we should practice deep breathing and in that period, our mind will be rid of external disturbances and thrown into a rhythm. The next step is to relax and watch the functioning of our mind. And to our surprise, we will discover with the calming of the conscious mind, thoughts from the subconscious start arising. To begin with, we must watch these thoughts and not support them. When they find they do not have our conscious support, they naturally disappear. This must be done repeatedly until the mind at last becomes calm and transparent. Further concentration of the mind reveals the truth that lies deep within ourselves. This is the aim of meditation. This alone can give true happiness and peace we all seek. Let us relax and meditate a few moments.
much for joining my world. And don't forget, peace. Ah.